Peace. This video is entitled The Rapture 101 for Dummies. Okay? The Rapture essentially is a doctrine whereas Christians, quote unquote, believe that some point of time, at the end of days, people, the dead and alive, will be caught up together or just the alive, whatever. They will be caught up into the clouds to meet and then to wait on the Lord and then live with the Lord forever and ever in heaven okay now they back this doctrine up with 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 17 so now let's see if this is how this chapter and verse read let's see if it's supported 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So they use that verse 17 straight out of context to justify a whole story. So this verse this one verse becomes a movie with characters and stories and just craziness. Now, let's really look at this verse and see what it's talking about. I challenge you. Verse 17 again. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. With who? The them is the dead. And they should be caught up where? They should be caught up in the clouds. So the dead and the alive are being caught up in the clouds. Right? To do what? To meet the Lord in the air, right? Okay. So how did this meeting with the Lord turn into living arrangements? What am I what do I mean? I mean that the quote unquote Christians believe that they're gonna meet the Lord in the air to live in heaven forever. But we don't read anywhere here heaven or to live. We read the dead and alive are being caught up in the clouds together to meet the Lord in the air. So like I said, how did this meeting become living arrangements with the Lord? We're just meeting the Lord. We're not living with him. Okay, so that crushed that whole doctrine. They're using this verse, this chapter and verse. So now we're going to read on what are we doing in the air with the Lord? To prove it's just a meeting. When you meet somewhere, it's temporary. You don't remain in a meeting place. If we're going to talk business and I say, okay, let's meet at um, Starbucks. Are we living there now? No, we're meeting there. And once the business is done, we leave and go back to our respectful places. Or we leave together and go somewhere together. But the bottom line is we're not staying there forever. That's just a meeting place for an hour or two. That's it. So now we're going to read what are the dead and alive doing in the clouds, okay, when they meet Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15 and 44. This is speaking about the resurrection. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body, okay? So when you die as a natural man or your, your natural body it is raised a spiritual body or you are raised as the spiritual man right um, so now verse 50 is key now this I say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God neither does corruption inherit incorruption so all it's telling you is that the dead and the alive are corruptible and neither one of them can inherit the kingdom of God. Did it say heaven? Did it say they can't inherit heaven? It said flesh and flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So that's where we are going. We're not going to heaven. We're being changed in the cloud from the natural body to the spiritual body. So that we can obtain or inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. 
because no flesh and blood can get in. All right, so now, where did we read heaven? Where did we read living? Nowhere. Okay, so that's a made-up doctrine. Um, let's back it up. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. See? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Right. So there we got it. Nobody's desiring to go to heaven. Everybody's desiring to enter the kingdom of God. We got that? So, this was a quick, short, easy breakdown. Hope you all got some edification. If not, you know, may God have mercy in your soul. But this is the rapture 101 for dummies. I just crushed 